What's up everybody, Bandit here, and today we have a really special project. So, as you can see in front of me, we do have my 2011 FJ Cruiser Trail Teams Edition, and uh, these trail teams really come pretty fully loaded. But there's one thing that might have not come with from the factory, and it's actually right back here. It's a trailer hitch. So, obviously these things are meant for off-road ability, not necessarily for towing, but I thought it'd be really nice to have a hitch in case I wanted to do uh, you know, just a little bit of moving stuff around, whether it be my four-wheeler or, um, you know, really whatever else I could think to hook to. Plus, that will add another recovery point here in the rear where I could add a D-ring in my hitch receiver or um, actually we have something really special coming up here before too long that I want to show you, but it does require that hitch receiver. So, uh, I got a new shipment here from Sparks Parts and uh, a lot more than just this trailer hitch actually but let's see what we got here so here's the actual hitch itself seems really beefy looks like that should just bolt right up and we also got the uh, factory wiring harness in here uh, all this should plug right up that's another thing i was really concerned with when getting a uh, trailer hitch i know a lot of aftermarket kits you have to go in and actually tap into each of your lights your turn signals, your brake lights, all of that, you have to actually splice some wires in to make your trailer lights work. I didn't want to fool with all that, so I thought going with uh, the official genuine Toyota parts here from Sparks Parts, our friends down in South Carolina, uh, they hooked us up with this kit, and I'm really, really excited about it. One thing also I was really pleased to find once I, or once I opened this kit, rather, is this. So what this is is actually this lower valence piece down here, uh, the hitch should sit right up in here, but the factory piece here is not scoped out for it. Uh, this one is. Uh, as you can see, it's cut up a little bit higher there in the middle. Uh, the only problem with it is this one's actually silver. So as you might know, uh, a lot of the stock FJ Cruisers uh, do have these uh, silver bumper corners and uh, silver pieces here in the center. Uh, being a trail teams, all of this stuff is blacked out on my vehicle, uh, but we should just be able to throw some spray paint on here uh, make it all look uh, matching and ultimately I am really glad to have had that piece in this kit. Uh, it seems like a really really nice kit for the money especially. Uh, again you might pay a little bit more for the genuine Toyota kit versus uh, you know a Kurt hitch or something like that but with this factory wiring harness and with the factory uh, actual hitch receiver everything should bolt up really easily and I'm uh, really looking forward to getting this done. All right, guys, so down here in the shop, uh, we have, again, our uh, lower valence here. Uh, we also have some self-etching primer. We'll spray on that and some spray paint. Now, I actually had both of those left over from when we did the rock sliders on my Tacoma. Uh, so this should really be nice. Uh, should leave a good finish on our plastic piece. And ultimately, it looks like it's just held in with a few uh, plastic clips along the bottom. All that should make it really easy to install. So let's go ahead and get this thing painted up so we can throw it back on the FJ Cruiser. All right guys, so after looking at this a little bit further, it looks like we're actually gonna have to take off the entire rear bumper to do this job. So again, the hitch just goes right here, but it looks like the upper mounting bolts are actually under this part of the bumper, and you're not gonna be able to get to all that without taking the bumper off. So I'm not sure if we have to get it entirely off the vehicle, or if we can just kind of pull it out a little bit to get to those bolts, but regardless, it looks like we have several bolts to get to. Looks like five here across the top, uh, four up underneath across the bottom and uh, I think there's two under these things right here We'll have to get the trim tool out and pop that out of the way. See exactly how it all works, but uh, let's get down to it
So now with the stock bumper out of the way, obviously we will have to remove that lower valence again. But walking over here to the FJ, you can see we do just have a little bit of foam up here and your rear crash bar. Now, this is a great opportunity to go ahead and clean this up. Luckily, uh, I don't have a super rusty FJ. Uh, a lot of these uh, are pretty rusty. Uh, so now would be a great time to get all that cleaned up. You can see a little bit of dirt sits in there. Uh, but ultimately, now while you have all this out of the way, it now is a great time to clean all this up. All right, guys, so we got the rear crash bar here all cleaned up. And uh, obviously there is a little bit of superficial rust on here, but nothing too serious. Now, you might be able to tell, I went ahead and ran those bolts in that will hold the hitch receiver in place. And the reason I did that is just to clean all of the threads before we start uh, really trying to install it and torque it down. Now, one nice thing about buying this from a actual Toyota dealer is you get instructions for your particular vehicle. These aren't generic. Uh, it actually shows an FJ Cruiser right there. It has your torque specs and everything. Uh, also your torque sequence. Overall, I'm really, really happy with this kit and I'm uh, really glad I went with Sparks Parts to get it. So now that we got all these holes cleaned up, we're gonna be able to peel this off and get these bolts started a lot easier now. So we'll go ahead and just get them all started. Then we'll follow that torque sequence that we just talked about and get everything tightened up. So right down here from the factory, there's actually already wiring in your wiring harness for the trailer wiring. So there's just this tiny little plug that you have to get out of the way first, and then you can plug the wiring harness that comes with this kit straight into that. So here's a look at that. It's just a standard four pin connection and uh, your connector right there. So go ahead and get all this bolted up and uh, sounds like it ought to be pretty straightforward. Then we'll have to move inside to finish the rest of the wiring in there. So the next thing that we're gonna do is add this little uh, electrical controller box here, whatever you wanna call it, up into the driver's footwell. So you can see where I have my flashlight. We're gonna look in there and then right above it. And you can see a little white plug and a little piece of uh, metal. The box mounts right up in there with the provided screw. Uh, that little white connector is already in your vehicle on the wiring harness, and then that will plug into the box as well. So I wasn't able to get the install bit on camera, but if you take a look up in there, there's what it looks like fully installed. So one of the last steps here is putting in your fuses. You can see we have one for towing tail and also one for the towing fuse. 
Uh, you can match that up here on the cover of your fuse box. And one interesting thing to note here is there's actually one for a towing brake. You can see a 30 amp down there at the very bottom corner. Uh, obviously, I don't have a trailer brake here for this vehicle. I assume that's what it's for, but it is interesting to see all the different options uh, that these things are pre-wired for uh, with maybe a couple extra accessories. So you can see where I have the two 15 amp fuses, uh, the blue ones there, they are raised right now just to show you all where they're at. We'll go ahead and push those down in. One thing I forgot to mention there, I just found in the bottom of the box is the uh, relay here for the towing tails. We'll go ahead and push that in place as well. And now we should be good to go. So embarrassingly enough, I did not bring an actual trailer hitch, but we can go ahead and check the wiring here. You can see we have it all tied in. I just checked the brake lights and we got the four ways on now. We'll make a way back to the back of the trailer and you can see everything is lighting up nicely. So it looks like we did a good job here. Uh, everything is working properly and uh, we'll do our impressions of a towing test here in another video. Uh, but so far, uh, I am really, really impressed with this kit. And again, I don't really plan on towing a whole lot, but you know, if I wanna move around a four wheeler, uh, something small like that, uh, you may have jet skis, kayaks, whatever. Uh, I think this will be a much easier way to do it. And uh, rather than get a different vehicle, obviously. And uh, ultimately, I think it should work out really, really great. So ultimately, I'm really happy with the end result here. It has a nice OEM look, and I'm uh, really happy to use genuine Toyota parts here for uh, this towing upgrade. So a huge thanks to Sparks Parts. Unfortunately, Toyota does not make the FJ Cruiser anymore, but they're really good at tracking down these parts, uh, even for a vehicle that's no longer in production. But we do have one final piece of the puzzle here that came with the kit. I'll go ahead and put that in there and uh, we are done. So I hope this video really did help you out, uh, help you out with the install. If you have any questions, please leave those down in the comment section. Uh, but ultimately, uh, I hope this video did help you out and uh, should make your install a little bit quicker. The hardest thing for me with my install was just getting all of the bolts to line up with the actual hitch receiver in the crash bar. But ultimately, we got all of that in there and uh, very, very happy with the end result. So thank you all very much for watching. Have a fantastic week, everybody. We'll catch you next time.